Hey viewers, how are you today? I've decided I'm going to re relocate my lithium battery in my Pajero to the rear. I need to make another battery box to house my battery. So I'm going to make like a, a power box. It's going to hold my battery. It's going to hold my inverter. It's going to hold my DC charger. It's going to hold pretty much everything. I'm going to fuse it all up. I will film parts of it here and there. I'm going That's to make it removable. So if I happen to sell my vehicle, I can simply just unplug the Anderson plugs and pull it out. So it's going to be like a power box, inverter, like the lithium power packs you can buy. I'm going to make something similar to one of those, but I'll make my own version. I'll start cutting along. I've got a rough plan drawn out, but that'll probably change as I go as well. Stick around and we'll see what I come up with. There's the inverter. That's the DC charger I'm using. This is from Sunyi off eBay. I'm gonna give it a go. It's a 50 amp DC charger with an MPPT solar input. This is my old, old inverter I had sitting in my back room. It was a bit small, but it's perfect for what I wanna do here. This is gonna be my box. That's roughly the size of my lithium battery. Now my lithium battery is gonna sit in there. I have yet to pull it out of the vehicle to put it in here. Okay. This will close up. It's gonna look something like that. There'll be a lid on here. I've got four fuses. So I've got a, a DC in, the solar in, DC out, and then also one more for the inverter. It's gonna have Anderson plugs, cigarette lighters, it'll have a USB out. On the back, I'm gonna put like a little fan, a little cooling fan, just on the back to draw air in. And I might put a little vent hole down here so the air can come through and cool down the, the um, DC charger, the inverter. I'll give it a go, we'll see what happens. It's a lot of thinking going on at this stage. Also guys, I forgot to mention, I've got my battery monitor as well. That will go somewhere on the front here as well. So I've got that to consider. So I've got a bit to go on. And there's my, um, that's the shunt. That goes on the negative side of the battery. So that goes to the battery. Okay, everything, every, all your earths come here. And then this wire plugs into this. And then the other end plugs into the monitor. And then there's a little power wire that goes to the positive of the battery. And it comes into one of these. And you pop it in there and that powers it up. And this measures all your current going in and going out. And pretty much this will tell me everything on what my battery's doing, if it's fully charged, if it's flat, if it's power going in, power coming out, how much solar's going in, how much power I'm using, how much power I've got left, and all that sort of thing. This is the Renergy, it's a 500 amp battery monitor. I'll get to work and start building this box. This mesh, it's gonna just go under there. This will be carpeted, like that'll, the carpet will be, I'll fold the carpet inside, then all you'll see is the carpet, then you'll just see that bit of mesh. It's just to let the air out. I'll turn the fan on and it'll push the heat out. Yeah, there's the inverter switch. The power point fits good. The battery monitor, that fits. Okay guys, it's gonna look something like that. If I happen to change anything, all I've got to do is just take this panel off and I'll just replace this panel. I'll just have a think about it. You know, you know how it is, you change your mind. <laughs> well, I do anyway. 
I have a piece of copper pipe, squashed it down, piece of copper there, that's going to be all my earths. There's my fuse boxes. I might fuse each individual Anderson plug. One for the 12 volt cigarette lighters, one for the USB, and I might even put the fan on that one as well. One for the light switch for on the vehicle. I think there might be a spare one. I'm not too sure at the moment, but it might be spare. I'm going to put some um, Anderson plugs on these. There they are, the four Anderson connectors. I'm not gonna connect these up yet. I'm gonna, I wanna actually carpet this first. I wanna run the um, the carpet trim around the outside before I start putting these on. I'm just sort of getting the holes done so I know where everything's going. So I gotta get my fan in. Give me a hole for the fan. And the hole there. So there's our solar in and DC in. So just trying to think what else. Um, can't rush these things. The Anderson plugs will be here. One there, one there. And then from the vehicle, I'll have the one cable from the battery. I'll just plug it in. And one cable from my solar panels, and I'll just plug it in. So I'm gonna have a bracket here. So I'll screw it down here, screw it down here. Screw it down there and there because the battery will be here. So I'll have four screws to fasten it down. And I've just got to wait on some carpet to come. And I'll keep podding around and make sure there's nothing I've forgotten. There'll be something I've forgotten, most definitely. Okay, I'll take everything off. And I'll start covering. I've got me spray adhesive. It's just the Sally's quick grip. Good stuff, this. So we just spray it. And we spray our timber. Good idea when you get your cans. Turn them upside down. Clear the nozzle out. I'll probably use that again shortly, but in case I don't. Okay, we'll let that dry for a bit. I've got the table marked the edge of the and where I'm going to put this, so I can get it smack in the middle. It's coming on nicely. Now this is the battery out of my vehicle, my iTech World 120 amp lithium. This is gonna go straight in. I think I've decided to put it in that way. Because me positive, you can just feed the inverter, it's nice and close. Very short distance to the earth terminal. So just run a bit of cable there for the earth. There's my fuse from the inverter. There's my battery. It's going in. Been an awesome battery, this guy's, so far. Um, having this 10 months, I have not had any problem with it. It's been under my bonnet, but these have gone up in price, guys. They, they really have. I don't know why. I don't know if they're price gouging or 
it's a price of materials. I don't know what it is, but they have jumped up in price. I just simply took it out. I want to move it up the back because I'm running a stronger inverter. I just can't have the battery up the front with that inverter. It just won't work. This is the reason I'm doing this power box. Alrighty, I'll put the battery in. There's me battery monitor. So there you go, the inverter's using half an amp, just in standby. All right, there's the shunt. Okay, so just my battery is connected to this side. This measures the power going in and out of the battery. So, um, and all my earths are down here on this buzz bar here. It's just a flat piece of copper I got. And just using that as the, the main earth for everything. There's my fuse box, or two fuse boxes. So, got the battery. She's in. There's the power. Okay, one fuse. I've got a 60 amp, and I've got an 80 amp. So the 60 amp feeds the top fuse box. The 80 amp feeds the bottom fuse box. That's my solar in. That's my DC in. So she comes in. Okay, there's a fuse on the solar, fuse on the DC in, and there's a fuse on the output of the charger to the battery. That's going out. Looks a bit messy, but once I've got the lid on it, you won't see it. The chair. Anyway, she's all fused. Okay, I'll get my drill, and I'll plug it in. Okay. I will do a review on this monitor in time. When I get used to it, I'll get accustomed to it. And also this DC charger, I will do a review on this as well. This inverter, I've done a review on guys. This inverter now is, is over two years old. It is absolutely fantastic. The Jandel inverter, they're a cheap inverter, but guys, I have not had any problem with the Jandel range. I'm charging this battery guys, my lithium, there's, so in that port there, I have got my battery charger plugged in, the battery charger says it's full, okay, fully charged battery, hold the up arrow, there it is there, she's 100% and got 120 amp hours available. I'm gonna go hook it on the vehicle now and try this DC charger. There's the car running. I've just got it plugged in to my Anderson plug in the vehicle. And the charge is working like it should be. Whoa, 41 amps. I think that's flashing out because there's no power. So I just cut the power off. The charger works extremely well. Okay, as you see, that's the new one I built. It is approximately the same size. This is what I just removed out of the vehicle. I just couldn't get the battery in here, guys. I wish this only had to be 15 mil wider. It's just because I use the, I think this is 18 mil ply for the sides. This is a lot stronger box. But I needed it the same size I couldn't come I couldn't afford to come much wider than what this is yeah I just had to make it similar size so as you see it's a similar size would have been a lot easier if I could put the battery straight in this box and yeah you know, if I could just modify this but I couldn't I had to pull it all apart so I just thought no I'll start from scratch and build a new one but yeah it's a it's really, really good. I'm, I'm happy with this. I really am. Um, I can't wait to get it in the car. It works well. It, I've done the... I tested the DT charger. It it performs really well. It pumps out a lot of 
amps. This um, battery monitor is also unreal. It's really, really good. The Renogy battery monitor, it's fantastic. It just goes into a sleep mode. It uses bugger all power when it's just like that. As soon as it senses power going through either direction, it'll turn on. So I put the fan on and it just comes on. Just a, a slight amount of power. So say the solar puts in power, so it'll light up. So if it's charging, this will be flashing. I'm still playing around with it, but yeah, it's really, really good so far. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this and I'm really, really happy with the DC charger. It's fantastic. All right, guys, there she is. She's in the vehicle. I put my wiring through. There's my light. That's wired on. I'll turn my light off. And yeah, so 43 amps she's pumping in. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know about the solar yet because there's no sun out today, but I'll have a look, I'll park it out so I'd see what sort of solar she gets. Just got to secure it down to the vehicle. It's pretty much where it's going to sit. Just see. Alright, I'll um, secure it down and I'll see how she goes in the solar, if there's any. Okay guys, there's the solar. There's hardly any sun out at all. It's drawing in 1.8 amps. It's very, very overcast. Not a very good day for solar power, but anyway, that's that's it. She's all in. There's the there it is pulling solar. Pretty impressed with it so far, but anyway, time will tell. This is a just a 750 watt toaster rated on the badge. There you go, I just kicked it on and it's pulling 67 amps. So remember this inverter is rated at a thousand watt continuous, so we're up to 850. Awesome, really good. Yeah, pretty much there's the vehicle set up at the fridge. I'll pop that off now, I don't need it. But yeah, it's um I love this monitor. Really good. The old compressor fits in perfectly where my battery was. This was another reason I moved my battery down the back. If you made it this far in the video guys, thanks very much. I hope I inspired somebody to do something like this. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep safe, take care, and thank you very much. Cheers, bye.